Today we're going to go over the basic functions of the JVC Pro HD GY HM100U camcorder. We will review the pros and cons of shooting in both automatic and manual mode, and we'll discuss the variety of functions that shooting in manual provides for the camera operator. Before we delve into these functions, let's look at the general pros and cons of shooting in auto versus manual. Auto functions perform well enough and are easy to use. However, it gives you, the user, minimal control of what you can do. In some situations, such as bad lighting, shooting in automatic will render unusable or poor quality images. This happens because in automatic, your camera does not know what you want. Shooting in manual, however, will give you the power to control how the camera perceives light and color, and will ensure quality images under a variety of conditions. To start off with, let's review the most basic functions of the camera, focusing and zooming. Like with many other cameras, you can zoom with the toggle button near the top, and you can focus with the focus wheel, which is near the lens. Depending on how you are holding the camera, you can change the function of the wheel from focus to zoom with the zoom focus switch near the top. Alright, let's move on. To change from auto to manual, simply push the full auto button on the side of the camera twice. On the screen you will see that A auto will appear, and then M manual. Note, if you are not sure whether or not you are in auto or manual, simply look toward the top left of the screen for a M for manual or an A for auto. Before you start shooting, remember to make sure that you are in manual focus mode as well. Identifying this is easy. Look towards the top left of the screen again and you should either see AF for autofocus and MF for manual focus. If you see AF, simply push the AF MF button, which is directly next to the full auto button. Now that we are in manual mode, let's move on. From here we will go over four different functions of the camera. White balancing, gain, iris, and shutter speed. To begin with, white balancing is a vital component to good cinematography and for capturing the proper colors of the scene. Now what this process does, it basically tells the camera what white looks like. To do this, have someone hold a white piece of paper in the area or scene you are about to shoot. Zoom in and focus out, or make it blurry. Then simply push the AWB button at the front of the camera for a few seconds. As you do this, the words Auto White A Operation should appear on the screen. And when it is done, it will read Auto White A OK. Now that we told our camera how we wanted to capture color, let's tell it how we want it to capture light. The easiest way to do this is by adjusting the gain. The gain increases the camera's sensitivity to light, so higher gain means a brighter picture. Unfortunately, increasing the gain too much can lower the quality of the image and will make it slightly grainier. When adjusting the gain, just remember, high gain means high grain. This process is simple. Go to the gain switch on the side of the camera and select either L for low, M for medium, or H for high. Choose the preset that fits best with your scene. So that's the game, it's fairly simple. Another way that you can control how the camera responds to light is by adjusting the iris. The iris is an adjustable aperture or opening which controls the amount of light coming through the lens. This is also known as the exposure. This not only adjusts the brightness but also the sharpness and softness of the image. The exposure or the aperture value is measured in f-stops, and this JVC camera has a range of 14 f-stops to choose from. By decreasing the f-stop, the subject will become brighter, and the focus range will be sharper while the background is blurred to produce a soft image. This increases your depth of field. By increasing the f-stop, the subject becomes darker, while it's in the background become focused as well. Now that we understand the basics of the iris, let's learn how to adjust it on the camera. Go to the back of the camera and select the iris button. From here, you can scroll through a variety of exposures or f-stops. As you scroll through, by using the knob that reads ADJ slash VOL, you will notice that your shot will either get darker or brighter, and that the number on the screen will change. When you get the picture you want, simply push the knob to select it. Now that you have successfully adjusted your iris, let's go over the shutter speed. 
the shutter speed affects how much motion blur is in each frame of your video. In a way, it controls the speed and amount of light that comes through the lens. To make your video look normal, you should take your frame rate and double it. So if you're shooting in 30 frames per second, which is about standard, a good shutter speed would be 1 over 60. To adjust the shutter speed, simply push the shutter speed button and scroll through with the ADJ slash VOL knob. As you do this, you will notice that the brightness will change and so will the movement of the subject. A faster shutter speed, 1 over 1000 for instance, can freeze the action or moving subject, while a slower shutter speed, such as 1 over 7.5, can create a blurred effect giving the impression of motion. The higher you set the shutter speed, 1 over 1000 for instance, the darker and less blurred the image will appear. Eventually the image will slow down. This is great for slowing down movement of the subject, but will require more light to see it easily. The lower you set the shutter speed, such as 1 over 7.5, the lighter and more blurred the image will become. This can be used for a stylized shoot where you wish to blur the movement together. Try it at night with a flashlight. Note, you may also press the shutter button twice to clear the screen and to set it to auto. Well, those were all the basic functions of this JVC camcorder. For a more in-depth description of its functions, be sure to read through the manual or check out more of our tutorials. Until next time, Thanks for watching CTN. Remember to hit that big old red button right there at the bottom to subscribe. Yup, that one right there. You got it.